today is and has been progressive. Well, it seems to me we've never been in a greater mess in our lives as a nation. Here we, we've spent $677 billion in three wars in this century alone, and we're in the shadow of a third world war. We venture upon all sorts of international arrangements and infinite palaver to bring peace and security, and the United Nations is not united, if we're honest about it, but thoroughly disunited. We have a lack of discipline that manifests itself in a wave of juvenile delinquency, in uh, uh, a difficulty in training soldiers for the hard discipline of war, in a variety of ways that mean for example, broken homes with divorces, one out of four, one out of five marriages broken in that way. It seems to me right there is a good proof. And you say that theology has no place. Well, of course, I, when I reuse the word theology, I wasn't referring to a fully developed theology in the sense that a theologian would talk about it. But I'm talking about respect for God and God-fearingness God instead of godlessness. Why, that's been an implicit tradition in our whole American system. Every American, Jefferson's idea of every American president has talked about it. We talk on our coins of in God we trust. It seems to me that once you take that absolute out of it, then you are left only with men. And then the question is, which man? The dictator or the man who's powerful? It seems to me that if you take God out of the picture, then man alone is responsible for the difference between right and wrong. Oh, that is no, no, wait a minute, right, right, Professor, right, right. Professor Hodges. I, I want to take some exception here. Uh, here are a lot of assumptions that progressive education has caused three wars, uh, inability of the United States to function. I'd like to ask about Italy, which has juvenile delinquency, piled on juvenile delinquency, and has a background such as you apparently want. Now, I think... Well, I, I'm not Butler... interested in defending other systems that failed either. I'm well, talking about one system that failed in this country, progressive I, I, education. I don't think it's failed. I think that you have ample opportunity to bring your children up if parents want to face their responsibilities. But you're advocating that this be turned over to the state and you blame. Uh, progressive I'm not education. advocating that it be turned over to the state well, at no, all. That, that As a matter of fact, the question was asked, which religion should be chosen? I say the parents.